Did you know that sex can reduce headaches and migraines? Hey, babe. Yeah. Why would you eat a gummy bear when you could just dump it in potassium chlorate? Also, if you see this on your For You page, please let me know and follow me to see crazy experiments. Agarramos fuerte con las dos manos y la partimos a la mitad. Nunca me sale nada de lo que hace ese tipo. <risa> bueno, ya empezamos mal porque tengo verde, no roja. Si no sales por eso. That right there is 45 eggs holding up the back half of this car. Today is day four of lifting this car with nothing but eggs. And I've got something to show you. From previous tests, we've seen that a single egg can withstand vertical loads of 20 to 25 pounds, which means that these 45 eggs can easily hold 900 to 1100 pounds. I have faith in the eggs, which is why I'm going to pull both jack stands. The other one's been taken out as well to show to you that those 45 eggs are truly supporting the back half of this car. Because this vehicle is a front wheel drive automatic and it weighs 2,500 pounds, we can estimate that about 60% of the vehicle's weight is in the front and 40% is in the rear. Meaning that when I lift this car off the ground, I'm gonna to need to have more eggs in the front than I do in the rear. Let's pull this out. At this point, it is quicker and cheaper to build a 9x5 press out of foam and plywood than it is to 3D print a 5x5. So I'm going to make three more of these presses and we're going to lift a car on day five. There are so many other viruses that have been around for so long and we don't have a vaccine for it. So this is a great question. So this post goes on to ask about HIV and Ebola specifically. Now, Ebola has a vaccine. It was approved by the FDA last year about this time. We don't distribute it widely. It's used for outbreak control. Now, HIV is a really interesting and complex problem. There are two primary reasons why we don't have a vaccine for HIV or why it's difficult to, to find one. The first is that we design vaccines based on the, the natural immune response to clear the virus. To my knowledge, there is no human case in which the virus has been cleared from the human body using the natural immune response. Um, it is also true that HIV infects T cells. T cells are the one of the most important aspects of your immune response. And if you are killing them while you're trying to develop an immune response, it's not going to work. Billions of dollars and 40 years later, we're still working on it. How far can a brand new bottle of shaving cream go? I've always wanted to unload one of these bottles. And it was going really good. I mean, it almost covered the entire sheet. It kind of reminded me of snow. Then the can started losing all of its pressure and the cream barely came out. I had to hold it just at the right angle for it to keep going. But at the end, it only went 38 laps, which is 325 feet. But I think that's pretty good for some shaving cream. Whoa, what's wrong with you? I have a headache and we are out of Advil. Ooh, okay, um, try pinching in between the webbing of your fingers right here and just like rub it back and forth for about a minute and it should go away. Why is this working? It's a pressure point, just drink water. Ooh, I stood up too quickly. Tunnel vision. Ooh, I know, clench your butt cheeks. What? No, do it, you know? Mm. There's something wrong with you. Dude, my arm fell asleep. It's all like pins and needles right now. Oh, okay, for that, try it like rocking your head just back and forth. It should get rid of it pretty quickly. What are you? Le prix de la téléportation, ça va sûrement être ta vie ou la mienne. Aujourd'hui, on est déjà capable de téléporter des atomes, et on sera sûrement bientôt capable de téléporter des molécules. Et vu qu'on est tous constitués de molécules, si on arrive à les téléporter, on pourra téléporter des humains ou des animaux. Alors ok, mais comment ça marche En gros, on va désassembler toutes les molécules qui nous constituent et les réassembler de l'autre côté. Le seul problème, c'est que le process va littéralement nous tuer. Si on désassemble toutes nos molécules, bah on meurt. Mais du coup, de l'autre côté, il y a un clone parfait de toi qui se recrée avec exactement les mêmes molécules, le même corps, les mêmes pensées, les mêmes souvenirs. Enfin, un parfait double de toi. Et comme toi, t'existes plus, bah personne verra la différence. Du coup, 
ton double, enfin le nouveau toi, il va vivre sa vie en pensant qu'il est lui-même, alors qu'en vrai il vient de naître et toi tu viens de mourir. Donc si la téléportation se popularise un jour, on va tous se tuer en créant des clones parfaits de nous-mêmes. Et je sais pas si ça en vaut la peine, juste pour voyager plus vite. Mais bon, c'est pour ça que... Drink more water, they say. There's so many health benefits, they say. But you know what we should really inform people of? Those low-key dehydration headaches you get? It's because your brain has shrunk, and it is now pulling away from your skull. I'm here to tell you guys, we are misbranding the water thing. Because if anyone had told me before 30 years into my life that not drinking enough water would cause my brain to literally pull away from my skull, I'm pretty sure I would have taken it more seriously.